Hello, welcome back. Thanks for the nonsense, let's just sit down to it. Real metal detecting, keeping it real. Uh, anyway, yes, um, I'm out at the front of the, um, of the rectory today, in uh, the Rose Garden sort of area. And I think I found something good. Let's take a look, shall we? What do you think to that? Looking from up here, what do you think? I know what I'm thinking. Very flint locky, isn't it? Very flint locky. I'm going to have a little clean up, very lightly, and I'll get back to you. Hee <laughs> hee, very interesting. Well, I've given it a little clean up, and um, I don't know, what do you think? You can just see a mark, some form of mark there. I don't know what that is. I, I, it feels too modern, like it might be a, one of those um, display ones. Yeah, have a look inside. What do you think? Any um, any musket pistol aficionados? It just looks, it feels too much. It's got some some weight to it, but I don't know. Oh well, very interesting piece all the same, whether it is or not. Hee <laughs> hee. Moving on. Well, you have to see this to believe it, but. That is how it turned over, and that is what it is. <laughs> ah, it's just a thread of bit of pipe. But by Jiminy, that rang up nice. Oh well, moving on. Well, next signal is this: the base of a toy car, a Lone Star Roadmasters. Chevrolet Corvette. You can see that it is nice. That's all it is, though. Probably was nice when it was intact. Just the base now. Bad crash that. Ooh. Moving on. The next signal is just a bit of nonsense. Well, two bits of nonsense. Yeah, half and half. Hooray! Nothing. Moving on. <laughs> Deary me. Right, this is how it came, or oh, it popped, should I say, as Scott says. It popped. And let's see what it is. Just pull it out here. It looks like. Oh, oh my gosh. What the blooming heck is that? Any ideas? Can't see anything else in there. Well, I'll have a look, give it a clean up, get back to you. Well, I got a lot of that out. So a little grill of some form. And here it is in all its glory. Look at that. That's pretty ornate, isn't it? I know it's getting the sun. Look at that. And it still works. I don't wherever it did, it turned like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Any ideas? Does anybody know what that is? Uh, yeah. How nice. Anyway, moving on. Now I need to clean this up, but if this is what it is, that is a big version. Woo. Give me a second. Well, it is what I thought it was, and oh my god, look at the size of that. What a shame the, um, obviously the workings are missing. Well, has been in there for quite a while. But look at that, size of the, that's a twin wicker, is it? Uh, it's like some form of spooky face with one eye. Mm. Beauty, look at that. Don't make them like they used to. Well, I don't know they make them anymore. There you go, a massive um, kerosene lamp wick ornamentation thing. Yes, brilliant. Ah, 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 ah. Anyway, I've got to show that to the owners. Um, yeah, moving on. Yes, just to keep it real and to make sure I don't uh, get all big headed. There's a brass washer. <laughs> Can't write this, can you? Anyway, moving on. 
And just to keep it even more real, 1p, battered as you like. Dedicate that to Aaron, South Coast Detective, and uh, sorry to hear about your mummy law, mate. Hope she gets well soon, uh, and hope you get back out soon also. Ah, dear. 1p, eh? Moving right along. Next signal. I am keeping it real here. Looks like a bike part. Maybe it's their bearing race cover or something. Just chromed steel. Ah, dear. I can smell onions. I think they're onions. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Next signal is this interesting lead sort of, I don't know, divider or something. Can you see a pattern there? I think I can see a skull at the bottom there. I don't know. I'll just random. It's, uh, it's got sort of like, I don't know, mould pattern on the back. Any ideas? I haven't got a scuba e. That does look like a skull wearing a beret at the bottom. Uh, I could have just rammed them. Anyway, I'm rambling. Moving on. And straight back down to earth with a uh, throat lozenge tin piece for infections of the mouth and throat. Decward thingy lozenges. I think it's decward in it. 20 decward in. Oh well, well, moving on. And the next signal is this big brass end cap. I think it must have had a seal in there at one time, which has rotted away, but uh, look at that. Good old chunk of brass. Where there's muck, as they say. Moving on. Well, that is the smallest compulsory iron ring I've found. But it's a compulsory iron ring. Now, have a guess what this is? <sighs> yep, it's a big old military tube. Of Greece, well, no anymore. Moving on. Okay, the next signal is this little blob. Ringing up lovely. Could be melted aluminium. Yeah, probably is. Ah, oh dear. A bit annoying since where I dug the hole is quite prominent, but anyway, never mind. Moving on. I'll test it anyway. Moving on. Okay, the next signal. Shh. Who's right there? I think it's going to be a 1P. But let's reveal it together. Oh, oh my gosh. Yay, it's not a 1P. It is actually a very nice looking. Nice and chunky, I love these. George the Six, threatening bit. 1941. Oh, that's lovely. Nice little threepence. Finally, a coin. That's the area I'm digging. I need to be really careful. I need to get results. And that is a 1941, so a war thrupney. Isn't it? That knows. Right, moving on. Well, the next signal is a uh, is a three quarter penny. I think it is a chopped up. The mower at it. George the sixth, Apney, from 1946. It's nice, lovely patina. Just a bit of it missing. Wonder if I find the other bit. You never know. Oh, anyway, very nice. Woohoo! This is a nice little coin area. Moving on. Hey George. Oh, next signal is just a corner of lead. Oh, they just chuck them anywhere, these broofers. Moving on. Six inch down. And I get a bloody brass gasket. Oh, God. Moving on. Well, that's it for me. So, um, oh, while I remember, if you, uh, if you have five minutes, pop over and check out Detecting Rose 22. Lovely channel, awesome lady. Thank you very much for the uh, shout out yourself there, Rose. And uh, congratulations to the big man, giant Garrett Detectorist, passing 500 subs. Ooh, oh, sorry about the shade. Well done, chap. Very good. Yeah, you see, from little acorns and all that. Not that you were ever little. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget to fill your rolls, wear gloves, do all the good stuff. And um, 